What up, what up, what up? This is Boy Quay of the Barber and you tuned in with Head Canvas TV for another episode of Student of the Game. I got Matt here. He's an instructor here at Bladecraft and we're going to get into this interview a little quick. So Matt, what's going on? Not much, man. Just another day. A little cold down here in Dallas. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, man, I want to ask you some questions real quick about your personal experience as a barber. Uh, first off, what made you want to become a barber? Oh, uh, me wanting to become a barber, real talk, it was actually, I was sitting at home one day, and I said, I need to do something with my life, and a commercial for the cosmetology school came on, and I said, why not? So I went to did cosmetology, and then moved to Dallas, and realized I got tired of doing highlights, so I was like, I want to go to barber school. So, as a cosmetologist crossing over to a barber, how was that for you? It was pretty cool, actually. Uh, the first part, I mean, the only part that I had an issue with initially was just we had, there's a lot that we had to learn in 300 hours. Right. And so the timing was just like you start school and then blink and then school's over. Yeah. And, but yeah. Yeah. 300 hours equals 13 weeks and then you're done. So do you feel like you grasped everything that you need to grasp within that short amount of time? Because, uh, you know, I came into school and you were still kind of finishing up your crossover program or whatever, becoming an instructor. Um, and I noticed that you caught on to a lot of stuff real quick. So where did that come from? Did you always have that dexterity with shears even before cosmetology? And becoming a barber, did you always have the fading skills or, or you just learned quick? How was that? No, it was not quick. <laughs> there was no quick learning. So when I went to cosmetology school, I was 29. Okay. And all the people that were in the school were like 18, 19 year old girls. Right. And the type of person I am, I don't like being the underdog. And so I know they were watch. <laughs> they was over there just showing out and I was like, not today. So like I would get out of school at three o'clock, get home about three thirty, and then from three thirty to eight I would be burning through mannequins. Okay. About how many mannequins do you think you went through? Probably about a hundred. About a hundred? Yeah. No stuff? No lie. Like, I mean, because I would, I would get a mannequin, my friends would buy me mannequins, my family would buy me mannequins, clients would buy me mannequins. Okay, cool. Only because, like, I really wanted to be the best. So, on the flip side of things, being an instructor now, you don't cut as much unless you're doing, like, a demo. I mean, inside the school, that is, you know. So, um, even today, being an instructor, are there any haircuts that you find difficult to do? And if so, is this something that you still want to master or work on? I don't find haircuts difficult to do. Um, it's like once you have a system, the system works. Mm -hmm. What I, I find hair texture and hair types challenging. And what are some of the ones that give you the most challenge? <clears throat> uh, I'm probably for the rest of my life always going to struggle with Asian hair. Asian hair, yeah. <laughs> Asian hair is just thick, it's coarse, and it's bone straight. And so it's always a challenge. Um, and that, to me, like, it, I don't really, I don't look at things as like it's a challenge. Right. I look at it as like it's an opportunity. How, do, how am I going to conquer this task? Right, right. So, I mean, one thing about working with you, I noticed you are pretty straightforward when it comes to getting stuff done. You do always handle business. You don't make excuses. I can't honestly say that about you. And I've seen your work. You do work great. I mean, I admire people who start out as a cosmetologist and cross over to a barber because in the barber world, when you're dealing with straight hair, that is, you know, a lot of people want the fade, but they also want that top done right. So to see somebody who can do sheer work and do the fade game as well, that's always been awesome to me. And that's one of the reasons why I came back to do the barbering program as a map. I mean, well, the master program so I can get some more hands-on skills with the sheer work as well while I'm learning to be an instructor. So my hat go off to you for that. I definitely uh, appreciate that. No doubt. So um, another thing. Um, how do you feel about this time being a barber during the COVID pandemic? 
so me personally, I feel like the barbering industry has become oversaturated. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants that quick money. Right. And so I think COVID is going to weed out people who are who are only in it for the money. I feel like the true barbers, the passionate barbers, they're the ones that's going to ride it out. Stick around. So I feel like it actually probably is a blessing because, you know, once things hopefully, you know, normalize, you know, there's not going to be as many barbers.